Ever thought about diving into the world of small, multi-family real estate investing? Imagine owning a charming duplex, triplex, or a fourplex, and becoming the landlord of your own little community. But it's not just about the charm. There are tangible financial benefits to be had. First, there's the potential for passive income. With multiple units under one roof, you're not reliant on a single tenant for your rental income. This can provide a steady cash flow, even if one unit is temporarily vacant. Then there's the potential for property appreciation. Real estate as an asset class has a history of appreciating over time, and the right small multifamily property is no exception. And let's not forget about tax benefits. As a landlord, a number of expenses can be deducted from your taxable income, including mortgage interest, property taxes, and maintenance costs. Now you may wonder how to start this journey. Stay tuned, we'll break it down. Before making any investment first, you need to understand the market. Just as you wouldn't dive into a pool without first checking its depth, you shouldn't plunge into the real estate market without understanding its dynamics. So, what does understanding the market mean? It's about researching the local real estate market thoroughly. It's about knowing what's happening on the ground, the trends, the swings, and most importantly, the potential. But how do you do that? Let's break it down. One of the key elements to consider is location. You've probably heard the phrase location, location, location in the real estate world, and it's not without reason. Location matters. It's what determines the attractiveness of your property to potential tenants. It's what influences the rental income you can expect. A property in a bustling city center will differ greatly from one in a quiet suburban neighborhood. So, when you're researching, pay close attention to the location and its potential. Next, let's talk about the local economy. A thriving local economy can significantly boost the value of your property. Look for areas with a robust job market, good schools, and a growing population. These are signs of a healthy economy and can lead to higher demand for housing, which in turn can lead to higher rental income and property values. Lastly, consider the property values in the area. This doesn't just mean looking at the current prices. You need to understand the historical trends as well as future projections. Are property values on the rise, or are they stagnating? If they're increasing, that's a good sign. If they're not, you need to figure out why and whether that trend is likely to continue. By taking into account these factors, location, local economy, and property values, you can gain a comprehensive understanding of the market. This is not just about making an informed decision, but also about mitigating risks and maximizing returns. With a good understanding of the market, you're ready to hunt for your perfect property. And remember, knowledge is power, especially when it comes to real estate investing. Finding the right property is the cornerstone of successful investment. So, where do you begin your search? Well, there are a few strategies that can lead you to potential gold mines. One of the most traditional ways is through a real estate agent. They are professionals in the field with an extensive network and insider knowledge that can give you access to properties not yet on the open market. They can help you navigate the often complex world of real estate with ease. Yet, bear in mind that they work on commission, so ensure your interests align. Now, if you're more of a do-it-yourself type, online listings can be a treasure trove of opportunities. Websites and apps dedicated to real estate provide a plethora of options at your fingertips. You can filter by location, price range, number of units, and more. This method gives you control over your search, but requires a discerning eye to sift through the listings. And let's not forget about real estate auctions. These events can be a gateway to properties at potentially lower prices, especially bank foreclosures or distress sales. But remember, auctions can be competitive and unpredictable, so it's crucial to set a budget and stick to it. Regardless of how you find your potential property, there are a few key factors to consider. The condition of the property is paramount. Is it move-in ready or does it need repairs? If it's the latter, be sure to factor in renovation costs. Next, consider the potential for rent. What are similar units in the area renting for? This can give you a ballpark figure of your potential income. And finally, don't forget about maintenance costs. From routine upkeep to unexpected repairs, maintaining a property can add up. So, ensure you have a cushion in your budget for these expenses. Once you've found a potential property, it's time to crunch some numbers. Evaluating your potential investment is a critical step. It's like checking the weather before setting sail. You wouldn't want to venture out into a storm, would you? In real estate investing, the storm is a bad investment, and our weather forecast comes in the form of calculating potential return on investment. So, how do we calculate this potential return? Let's break it down. The key components to consider are mortgage payments, potential rent, property taxes, and maintenance costs. 
Let's start with mortgage payments. This is the amount you'll be paying back to the bank every month. It's pretty straightforward and can be easily calculated using any online mortgage calculator. Just input the purchase price, down payment, interest rate, and loan term. Next, we need to estimate potential rent. This is where a bit of market research comes in. Look at similar properties in the area and find out what they're renting for. This will give you a ballpark figure of what you can expect to earn. Now let's talk about property taxes. These vary widely based on location, so it's vital to get this information from the local tax assessor's office. This cost is often overlooked but can significantly impact your potential return. Finally, we have maintenance costs. This includes regular upkeep, repairs, and potential improvements. A good rule of thumb is to set aside 1% of the property's value each year for maintenance. However, this can fluctuate based on the property's age and condition. Add up all these costs, subtract them from your potential rental income, and voila! You've got your potential return on investment. Just remember, this is a rough estimate. It's always wise to have a buffer for unexpected costs. In essence, evaluating your potential investment isn't just about crunching numbers, it's about understanding the market knowing what you're getting into, and making sure the numbers work in your favor. With a favorable return on investment, you're ready to make your move. A carefully evaluated investment is like a well-planned journey. You know the route, you're prepared for the challenges, and you're ready to set sail towards financial freedom. Now, it's time to secure financing and make your purchase. Let's talk about how you can do that. Financing your small, multifamily real estate investment can come from several sources. Traditional mortgages are a common option. If you've got a good credit score, stable income, and a reasonable down payment, this could be a viable route for you. However, keep in mind that lenders often require a larger down payment for investment properties, usually about 20 to 30% of the purchase price. Another popular option is investment property loans. These are specifically designed for real estate investors. They come with more flexible terms and can often be secured with a lower down payment. However, they often come with higher interest rates, so you'll want to weigh the pros and cons carefully. Private lenders can also be a good option. These are individuals or small companies willing to lend money for real estate investments. They can offer flexible terms and fast funding, but they typically require a higher return on their investment, so you'll need to factor that into your calculations. Once you've secured your financing, it's time to make your purchase. The first step is making an offer. This is where your negotiation skills come into play. You'll want to offer a price that's fair, but also leaves room for potential repairs or renovations. Once your offer is accepted, it's time for the home inspection. This is a crucial step that can reveal potential problems with the property. It's always a good idea to hire a professional inspector to ensure nothing is overlooked. Finally, you'll close the deal. This involves signing a lot of paperwork, but it's also the moment when the property officially becomes yours. You'll pay your down payment, cover closing costs, and from that point forward, you'll be responsible for the property. Congratulations, you're now a small, multifamily real estate investor. Now let's talk about how to manage your new investment effectively. Once you've made your purchase, the real work begins. Managing your investment is a crucial component of the real estate game. It involves maintaining the property to ensure it remains appealing and habitable. Regular property inspections are a must, and you can't shy away from necessary repairs. Tenant management is another significant aspect. You'll need to find reliable tenants, establish clear rental agreements, and ensure rent is collected promptly. Remember, good tenant relationships can result in long-term occupancy and fewer vacancies. Then there are potential issues, legal matters, unforeseen repairs, or even disputes. Navigating these challenges requires patience, knowledge, and sometimes professional help. Speaking of professional help, hiring a property manager could be a viable option. They handle the day-to-day -day duties, allowing you to focus on the bigger picture. Yes, it's an added expense, but the convenience and peace of mind can be worth it. With careful management, your small multifamily real estate investment can provide a steady stream of income and potential appreciation. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and comment. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell to keep up with the latest content.